Good morning, South Florida. The 11 o'clock advisory just in from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Erica. Winds remain at 45 miles per hour. It is moving west at 17, located 285 miles east southeast of Antigua and the Leeward Islands. The latest satellite picture continues to show a better organized Erica with more showers and thunderstorms developing around the center as it approaches the Caribbean islands. Computer model runs are suggesting it will continue to move to the west northwest and be in the vicinity of the Bahamas over the weekend. A handful of models take Erica through portions of South Florida and the official forecast track from the Hurricane Center has some slow strengthening happening throughout the next couple of days. It should move through the Virgin Islands sometime tomorrow passing Puerto Rico on Friday with winds up to 50 miles per hour and then interacting a little bit with the terrain in Hispaniola then making its way into the southeastern Bahamas including the Turks and Caicos Island on Saturday with winds up to 60 miles an hour. Then eventually it will make its way into the central Bahamas. We're actually getting an update with the official forecast track right now from the Hurricane Center and they're suggesting that it will be over the central Bahamas on Sunday with 65 mile per hour winds and then approaching parts of South Florida as a category one hurricane with winds up to 75 miles per hour and take a look at the majority of Florida under the forecast of cones. So we certainly need to keep a close eye on Erica's every move. It could, if it could survive the dry air ahead in the Caribbean, an area of high wind shear and the terrain over Hispaniola, we will be dealing with a system of some sort, whether a tropical storm or a hurricane early next week. What we do know is that there are new advisories in place for our friends in the Caribbean islands, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, now St. Martin, St. Bartholomew, including parts of Anguilla under a tropical storm warning that extends all the way into Montserrat. Guadalupe remains under a tropical storm watch. I'll be back with a whole lot more on Erica on 7 News at noon. But for now, I'm going to send things over um, to programming, and I'll be back with more at 11 o'clock. We now join regularly scheduled programming already in progress.